Matter General, we rate the animals counted. Oh no! Can you narrate the scenario? Dear, I help my mother in cooking fried rice and egg for our breakfast. While she was preparing the ingredients, I started to light the stove and put a cooking oil in frying pan. When she said, I put sliced tomatoes and onions, I used the ladle to stir them. And after a second, my right hand was covered. Oh no! How can you use your right hand in writing? How did this happen? You only use ladle in stirring the ground hurt. What type of ladle did you use? Tomato ladle. Hmm, maybe the heat of the frying pan transferred to the metal ladle. What should we do now to avoid this kind of accident? Hmm, let us meet after class to conduct simple science experiment regarding to the incident. Wow, I love science experiment. Let's go. Let's go. hours later what are we going to do now let us prepare first all the materials that we needed in our experiment we use butane gas stove tong nails margarine plastic cloth and tools. we will also use hand gloves made a cloth for protection while performing an experiment. Donny, can you light the gas too? Okay, I will look at you. Natalie, kindly put a margarine behind the half of the nail and lift it up with a tongue and place it into the hot stove. Sure, I will do it, Akisha. John Rob, kindly observe what will happen to the margarine. Oh, kindly tell me what happened to margarine at the other half of the meal. Hmm, the margarine melted. Why do you think it melted even if it is not directly exposed to the flame? The heat from the flame traveled from the nail until it reached other of the end of the nail because the margarine melted. Oh, so that is why dry wrap is scalded because of the heat of the frying pan transferred to the metal ladder. Oh yes, that process is what we call conduction. Conduction? What do you mean by that? Conduction is a transfer of heat between substances that are in direct contact with each other. The better the conductor, the more rapidly heat will be transferred. Metal is a good conduction of heat. How about these remaining materials like woods and plastics? Are they also conductors? Let us see. Natalie, can we get the plastic? Thank you. John Rob, can we get the wood? Mm -hmm. Let us place the flame of the stove. Donnie, can you observe what will happen? The wood burn and the plastic melt. I also noticed that they are not transferred heat. Yeah, you're right, Natalie, because that process is what we call insulators. Insulator? What do you mean by that? An insulator is a material that does not allow heat to easily pass through them. Woods, clothes, plastics, and rubbers are good insulators. They're also poor conductors. That is why. We use ceiling in our roofs because it covers ourselves from the heat of the sun. And also, we always use hand gloves made of cloth to protect us while cooking. Now you know, John Rock. I hope you learn your lesson. So next time, ask a help of your mother in cooking, okay? Yes, thank you so much, Akisha. Next time, I will be very careful. And because of that, let us have a high five. One, two, three. Hi!